a construction alert that could make merging a lot faster and safer. As Nicole Chabak explains, it's a method that has seen success in other states, and it's now here in Michigan. Whether you think you should merge right away. Try and just merge as soon as possible. Or wait till the last minute. Well, some people might cuss me out, but you know what? I'm doing it for everybody. Yeah. It just makes everything go faster. Shrinking the highway down to one lane brings headaches all around. And drivers dealt with more of it Monday when part of 96 shrank for the day for bridge repairs. It takes patience on the terms of motorists. Carrie Aaron from MDOT assured me it's only for Monday, but there's more closures along 127 ahead for the rest of the summer. There are several bridges right in that very close proximity. Um, so we are doing the work right there to keep that bridge in good condition. Which has some MDOT offices looking for ways to keep the headaches away. An MDOT spokesperson tells me one of the faster and safer ways to merge is to actually wait as long as you can and then take turns with the other drivers. It's called the zipper merge. The department used it in Grand Rapids and told me it changed traffic from bumper to bumper to smoother sailing almost every time. They got the idea from the Minnesota Department of Transportation that's been using it for the past few years. And though it may sound like a dream come true, some drivers aren't convinced. A lot of times that slows it down when people wait to the last minute to get over. I think it's just going to slow things down and just cause even bigger backups than there already are. But they all agree the most important thing to do when you see a lane closure is to take it slow. In Lansing, Nicole Chadwick, Fox 47 News. Southbound 127 at the 96 interchange is set to go down to one lane as early as next week.